<laughs> Music, industry talk, stories, equipment and more. We are Crossfader and this is Off, 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 off the Record. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Off The Record. Hello. Sound a bit different, don't I? It's not Lawrence James. No. (laughs) No. Jamie Hartley signed the podcast because we've got rid of Lawrence. No, I'm joking. He's on holiday, well deserved, and in his place, we've actually put all of you, DJs from around the world. So very important guests because we have got some amazing things lined up. I'm so excited for this podcast. But by the side of me, who have we got? Mr. Danny. There's just two of us. (laughs) Danny Just James that. here with me. So in this week's episode, we're going to be talking about what to do when it all goes wrong. And trust me, it goes wrong a lot of the time for DJs. It does. We're all in the same boat and there's some great stories we've got to share from around the world regarding this and some amazing funny ones that we've come across. So we kind of bundled it into one because some of the stories that we've had sent in are amazing and I can't wait to share them. Um, we reached out on Instagram and we had so many replies. There were so hundreds many. of people ready yeah. to share stories. So unfortunately, we can't share every single one because we'd be here for hours and hours. But we've picked some of the best and boy, have we got some good ones. I've also scrolled through TikTok and Instagram and Reddit and we've pulled some amazing stories as well. So before we get into that, we've got some news. It's the Easter sale. It is. 35% off all of our courses. I want to get that in nice and quickly because if you're listening to that right now or even probably about 10 days after this goes live, it'll still be live on the website. No code needed. Just go over to the website and you can get access to any of our courses for 35% off. So we've got the Flex4 Beginner, the Flex4 Pro course, which is new, the open format course. You've probably heard us talk a lot about on this podcast in recent weeks. We've got all sorts of genre courses from techno course that Danny did to house to hip hop. You've got a new course coming soon as well, haven't you? I do, yeah. I'm excited. Yep. I, I, you've, you've made a start on it, haven't you? Yep. <sighs> yep. We're excited to share this. We works. are not resting this year. Going We've in. got so many courses coming and so much value being dropped to you. But like I say, it's 35% off courses now. So go and check out the Easter sale. Next in the news, I thought we'd just go through some of these top line headlines because I, you know, I want to make sure that people get some of the latest news yep. of the industry. Nothing too DJ related this week. Apart from Beatport is now available in the Rekordbox iOS app. So as a streaming integration, Beatport is now available, which is great to see. They're slowly rolling out some more integration with that app. I know it's kind of still quite new on the market, but great integration. I think SoundCloud's already in there as well, Mm -hmm. but no Tidal and no Beat Source from what I'm aware as yet. Yep. Next up in the news, Mixcloud. Now, they announced a host tagging feature recently, which is a bit like collab posts on Instagram, um, which is really good for like radio shows. I know a lot of radio shows run on that platform. Mm. Now, they might upload hundreds of shows a month. Now, what you can do is you can tag the host, the DJ's profile within that post. So if you've got favorite DJs from like a radio channel on Mixcloud, you can find those DJs and go and listen to their other mixes and stuff. So it's a great community building feature. Um, And it's something to be aware of, especially if you're a Mixcloud user. And we've got some exciting stuff coming with Mixcloud in a few weeks, which I will let Lawrence, when he comes back, talk more about. Very exciting. And lastly, in the news... KRKs, you know those yellow cone speakers that Mm. nearly every DJ has? Well, they've just released their fifth generation. Just shows how long that's been going. The fifth generation of a speaker, which is pretty good going. Still yellow? Still yellow. Good. Still look basically the same. Yeah. I think there's a few different modes on there now. They were very good for like from a DJ's perspective Mm. because they had a good low end. Yeah. Now I think they've realized that they can make a speaker that's a bit more adaptive. So they're still working that way, but there's also like a flat response version, I think. Nice. Um, Mode on it, sorry, and a vocal mode. So there's a few different modes on there as well. Again, one of my favorite speakers i'd say for like a bedroom dj oh, yeah. just getting started i always recommend the rockets i've got yeah. some at home I still got um, mine. but i think they're probably like the version ones yeah early days early days yeah. yeah so they're on version five i mean that's all that's in the news this week nothing too exciting no nope. but worth knowing about shout out to everyone locked in now as you're aware there's only two of us so i'm gonna do my best we are live as usual on youtube and twitch and facebook i'm gonna do my best to kind of keep an eye on the comments but because i'm hosting the show and we've got all the tech going on i don't want the whole show to go to pieces so bear with me i'm gonna try and do a question time at the end but there's a lot going on today there is that leads us into this week's topic right so first of all let's get warmed up with 
someone on TikTok, and this should hopefully resonate. I'm guessing this is going to resonate with a lot of people listening. And the idea of this is to just realize that you're, you're not alone. When things go wrong, it's not just you that it's happening to. Like The whole DJ industry has experienced these things. So I'll read out who, who shared these after the fact. So let's see experience i ever had like period and i was like i have to share this Let's because to, I could to have gigs like can right. we just take a second to have a little healing circle and talk about the times that we actually flopped like on stage please like the other day i was talking to my friend and i remembered like the worst ever gig experience i ever had like period and i was like i have to share this because someone needs to know that it's okay that like, it's okay to flop it is okay you have to hold that l so let's take it back Young Vanessa has got her USBs, she's ready to go, a bit nervous, very nervous and um, I'm getting ready to get into this club now, it's about 200, 250 capacity so that's a nice size. So there wasn't anyone playing before me um, because there was like a host on stage who introduced me, hop on stage, put in my USB, number one, corruption, corrupt. I thought it's cool, I've got another USB, let's go period. I plugged in my other USB in the first time I thought fuck my life because the only thing I had on that USB was a radio show. Like a full blown me being like yo you're locked into Ness, what's good? And I played my radio show and was just like I'm so sorry guys. Yo. Right shout out to Vanessa Maria on TikTok for that story. Such a, a story that we can all resonate with right? Yeah. The corrupted USB. Yeah. And I bet so many people listening are like I know how you feel. Yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> have you ever had it? I have, yeah. You literally walked into the studio today because yeah. we're going to be doing, obviously, add to playlist game later. Yeah. Stick around for that. Um, and you, the first thing you said, I, I hope my USB is okay. I just need to check it. Like, yeah, yeah. It just Even happens. now. Yeah, it's so weird. It's like you just can't tell when something's going to go wrong with them. Like They are reliable, but things can go wrong. And it's really annoying, especially with certain formats of music as well. That's been the worst. When I downloaded tracks and then I tried to load them in, and then it's like CDJ does not support this format. So, I think um, it is one of the biggest hurdles because a lot of the time, if you imagine, you've got a controller at home, mm. you've got a, a, you know some kind of DJ equipment at home, but it's not usually a CDJ setup. No. Now, if you've got an all-in-one unit like an XDJ XZ or RX3, then you're in a bit of a better position because you, if it works on there, theoretically, it should work on the CDJs. But Pioneer DJ just threw an extra thing into the mix here because they've got like a new system which is was, was released with, I think, the Opus Quad. And it's a new, like, database system. So if you want to export music for the Opus Quad or the Omnis Duo, it's you've got to, like, transfer your whole library within Rekordbox. You've got to, like, ch check a box. And it translates everything into this new format. It doesn't affect what you do with CDJs, but mm -hmm. there's, like, now two versions of their back-end system, which causes even more confusion. Yep. So something to be aware of is that, like, is your USB working now? How do you check? A lot of a lot of people will email us like, "How do I know? How do I know?" Now, what you could try is if you plug your USB into your laptop, go into Recordbox and open the USB drive and go into the collection and playlist that yeah. have been exported within Recordbox and try and play a song from there, not from your library or collection, from actually within the playlist in Recordbox. It should play from there if it's exported right. Yeah. The other thing to bear in mind is that if you open up the USB drive folder just on your laptop, people freak out with this, is that it just says like Pioneer and Contents. Yeah. It doesn't have all of the like playlists that you've created. It doesn't mm. have all the individual files there. A lot of people think, oh, I need to drag and drop all the individual files onto my USB drive mm. as well. That's not the case. Recordbox has done all the exporting if you've used the sync manager or exported with a right click. And what it does is it creates a Pioneer folder, a contents folder. In the contents folder, if you dig down deep enough, you will find those individual files, but they're not structured in any way that you recognize. They're just hidden away within like artists or something. Yeah. And then in the Pioneer folder, there's like random XML files and things, but that's how the CDJs work. So mm -hmm. if it looks like that, don't be freaked out. The other thing is you could maybe try and see if you can get to like a DJ store or a Pirate Studios if you have a Pirate Studios local to you and go just check it out and test it that way. Yeah. But it is a big hurdle. It is, yeah. I've, uh, I mean, even she was saying having a backup USB. Mm. Make sure your backup USB yeah, is still yeah. working as well, you know, if you export in the same way all the time. Yeah. Another common thing with that to be aware of is if you've moved your files. Mm. So let's say you've exported to your USB drive 
you've played a few gigs, suddenly you've downloaded some new tunes, and then you've moved a few files around, you think, oh, actually, I need to clear my downloads folder, and I'll move all my downloads into this other folder. Now, if you originally dragged them into Rekordbox from downloads, now it's lost the file path. Yeah. And that's going to cause issues. So when you go to export your USB again, it's going to try and re-export all the original files. It then notices some are missing. It says the export's complete, but what it's done is it's exported like a, a phantom version because yeah. it can't find the original file anymore. So that's something to be aware of. If you're ever going to move files around on your computer, are they relinked in record box? Have they been matched back up? Right. I've got one from Reddit here. All right, let's go. So this, uh, do you know what I love from this story is the grit and determination. Is this the right one? Yeah. So public underscore AD6617 said, went to this random apartment party drunk with a flash drive, so USB stick. There had to have been over 80 people, my largest crowd. I wasn't supposed to play. I walk over to the DJ area and they had a Flex 4 and a computer that some lady had just spilt a cup of booze on. All the cords were soaking and they couldn't get the cables to work on the FLX. So I started switching stuff around and got it to work. They switched over to Bluetooth on some guy's phone so it wasn't dead silent. I tried to plug my flash drive in, the owner's USB-C to USB converter, but it was toast. <laughs> I got the cables to play and it was a mix of 2010 music and some good house music and a lot of Danish music. I'm an American studying in Copenhagen and I ended up playing for over three hours. I played... Uh, good with what I knew but because the cords were ass it would randomly just go dead silent and we would have to work on the cables again <laughs> got booed so much but being extremely drunk really made me not care because I knew nobody in the crowd and it wasn't my setup these people would walk up to me and request music in Danish and it was a cluster but good problem solving experience yeah nice love, love that approach yeah just the, the determination <laughs> of like right it's covered in in liquid yeah what do i do next okay the cables aren't working the converter for my yeah. usb is not working but still stuck at it stuck yeah. at it stuck at it and again like you say a good pro problem solving experience yep. um yeah i love that have you got any to share i've got loads yeah do you know what so many of them came in about liquid being spilt on them it's it's very common isn't it's like it every dj's had it yeah. i've had it twice on a laptop mm. just gone kaput well if you imagine you're in a nightclub where lots of people all have drinks the more drunk they get the more the drinks would get spilled and yeah. and people just don't care yeah so yeah naturally it's disasters are waiting to happen yeah it's like it's like saying okay go and dj in the bathroom while a toddler's having bath time yep. <laughs> yeah yeah that's just basically what a nightclub is yeah so I've got one from uh, j.entertainment.ham. Shout out you on Instagram. Uh, yeah. So he's saying, once I DJed outside a bar and a bird shit on my controller. Oh. <laughs> I had just Whoa. managed to, it gets worse. <laughs> I had just managed to clean everything off and the thing came over again and did it again. Oh. So a bird shit on his controller twice. He says, I What beat, are the odds? I know. Like genuinely. You should have got a lottery ticket or something. I think I've been, I think I've been shit on once. Have you? Yeah. In your entire life. Traumatic, yeah. yeah. And he says, I haven't DJed outside without a tent ever since. Makes sense. I mean, yeah. Yeah, fair, fair enough. enough. <laughs> Take a gazebo to every every gig. Yeah. Diff it's something you don't anticipate. Like, nah. this is why we need to read these out. Yeah. Prepare for any eventuality. Yeah. Flying poo. Like, do, it's, do it's a what? real thing. I've just remembered something, actually. So I was DJing for, there was a, a, a event company that I used to work for, and they were promoting tickets for, like, students who had just come to the city. And I was DJing outside. And I was, I had my headphones on and I put them on and a wasp went into my headphone as I put it on and it stung my ear. No way. Yeah, it was awful. It was so painful as well. It's like the chances of that happening. It, Literally. It happens here. Yeah. Oh, trapped uh, in the cup. Yeah, it just went straight in and I heard it oh. buzz and then just, zzz, I was like, oh, awful. Uh, I got another one. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I can't read this guy's name because it's in another language. So sorry about that. Uh, once a drunk girl thought that the jog wheel was an ashtray and tried to get her cigarette out on the CDJ. I had to sacrifice my hand to save the jog wheel. <laughs> so he put his hand there to stop it. <laughs> but That's... did they really think it was it? I don't show? know. Or were they just like being a dick? Uh, I imagine it was being a dick. Seriously. Yeah. I mean, it's just a bad thing to do, isn't it? It looks like a little spaceship. Like, yeah, you can't it looks mistake like a, it for an ashtray, <laughs> A complicated you? piece of technology. You're not going to think, That's an ashtray. Surely. Well, drunk people. Mad. They do Mad. things. Um, there's a lot of people as well. Th there's a common theme here, another one. A bit like the USB corruption, but a common theme. So this one's off Reddit from 8 Ball Posse. Owner cancelled two hours before start time because he wanted a jam band to play to try catch the people coming in after the Disco Biscuits 
played next door. I travel <laughs> 1.25 hours to get there and bring my turntables, mixer and records and have had arrived in town already, getting dinner before my set when the message came in. And there was someone else that said basically the same thing, like he did two gigs, where is it? Well, he did two gigs and then... Yeah, I can't find it. But basically did two gigs and he got cancelled twice on both of those gigs because it was the graveyard shift. Uh, so it wasn't busy enough yeah. for the club to stay open long enough for his set. So he's arrived to the club, he's there getting there early, you know, doing whatever. And then suddenly the, the turning around, like, we're going to shut the club. Sorry, uh, you haven't got a gig. And it's really hard that, like, I've had that yeah, before as well. It's disappointing, especially when you build yourself up to it. Like, yeah. super hyped and then it just doesn't happen, but... I know Lawrence has spoke a lot about like getting some kind of fee in place or some agreement in place yeah. prior to the gig. And one of his rules is that like if it's someone you've never worked for before, that's a really good thing to try and stick at is, is yeah. get a fee in place or some kind of agreement in place before. So for those kind of eventualities, yeah. maybe there's a bit more leniency, you know, if it's someone that you know well and they, they might be like, oh, we can't, can't, you know, give you a gig this week but we'll try and make it up to you or something maybe yeah but it is a common thing at the end of the day it kind of filters down mm. the promoter decides to put on event on an event then they have to try and sell tickets yeah then people have to actually arrive and turn up if they haven't sold tickets they need to hope that people are going to turn up mm. and then it's like you're the last in line to be like okay well not enough people have turned up but you've got to save money by shutting the club and yeah. by not paying a dj but it sucks yeah it does suck. It's bit, like, I've had it loads of times where like, we can't pay you what we usually pay you, even though you've done the same amount of hours of work, but it's because we haven't sold enough tickets and it's mm. it, it's hard when it first happens to you and it does happen a few times. It's just part of the game, but yeah. Yeah. Don't have much more advice to that one. No, it's true. Like, mm. I think Loz's advice was the best. Just try and uh, see if you can get that money in before if you've not worked with them in the past. Right, should we have another one from Instagram this time? This is from Yanis Thune on Instagram. Really good storyteller. Let's, oh, let's go. Nice. This is Thug Cat. This is not him. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. I've been DJing 25 plus years, thousands of gigs, and so many crazy things have happened to me DJing. This is a DJ story. A girl comes up to me. She seems nice. She's like, can you hold my purse, please? I need to dance. And I normally never do it, and since then, never did it. So I took her, her purse, and then she came five minutes later. She got it back. Half an hour later, still not that many people. Can you please hold my purse again? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me hold it again. She danced a few songs. She got it back. Half an hour later, she's like, can I please have my purse? <laughs> it said she thought I still had it. Oh, you stole it. You gave it to someone, or blah, blah, blah. She was like... And then I can see she was really like, 20 minutes later, here she stood with her boyfriend or her guy friend, and they started throwing cigarettes at me, turned on cigarettes, so hitting me w in the face with a few cigarettes there before I got the bounce bouncers to throw them out. And on the way out, they did like this oh, to me. Slicing uh, the neck. <laughs> okay, then we're going to go fast forward. Like two months later, same club, I was standing with my head down in the decks, <laughs> When suddenly there's an arm up here, and normally when arms are here, I just high-five them. But I did like the high-five on the arm, and then I'm like, what is this? This is an onion. And then I looked at the person. That was the same girl. She gave me an onion, and I looked at her. She smiled like I was her best friend. Then she just walked away, and I stood there with that onion. And still to this day, 20-plus years later, I'm thinking, why did she? <laughs> so weird people but, bring weird things to clubs oh mate but the same girl that I feel like it was premeditated was that yeah P potentially like, I'm just gonna give him an onion yeah like that'll be funny maybe that was like a, a like a, a subtle sort of death threat <laughs> like maybe here's an onion <laughs> so right. last you'll see I love this Yanis so he's, he's called Yanis Lauvring L-A-U-V-R-I-N-G so definitely go check him out on Instagram I've got one more from him to share oh has he got more he's got more nice. so let's go for the next let's go Happy Sunday, everybody. It's time for a story. Sunday, by the way. Anyways, I was DJing for around five years now, 2002, I think it was, playing at this club. Been there for an hour or so, and the bouncer came up. He was like, no dignity. You need to play that song when I tell you to play it. I'm like, uh, that's pretty strange. That's the way it is. You need to play it when I tell you. Okay. An hour later, there was like five bouncers in the room, and he came up to me. He's like, play it now. So I played no dignity. Bouncers didn't react. Crowd was like the same. They just danced away. No problem. Everything was like normal. I was like, hmm, strange. So when the night was over, I asked the bouncer, how come I didn't need to play that song there? 
he was like, okay, okay, I'm going to tell you. So there was this guy in the audience today who has been to prison for the last eight months because he kicked out the teeth on the DJ and uh, broke some bones in his head because he thought that song was uh, racial. So there was something wrong with that song. He didn't like it. So he actually beaten up the DJ very, very bad. And he just came out of jail. So he was here tonight. So we wanted to see how he would react when you played the song. <laughs> That's quite funny, actually. <laughs> see if he'd learn from his mistakes. I mean, well, how would you feel, though, if you just got told that by the bouncer? <sighs> I don't know. Um... I mean, it's yeah, a bit it's worrying. Nothing. I mean, it is, at least yeah. uh, all the bouncers I'm guessing got together, and you know, just in case, just in case <laughs> yeah. and we're just staring at this person. But yeah. maybe it's kind of like trolling someone, isn't it? It but is, yeah. Maybe this bouncer had something against that guy. He was like, "I'm, tr- I'm going to send you back to prison." <laughs> 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 that's that's so weird. Oh man, it's pretty funny though. Uh, I've got a good one. Uh, another Instagram one. This is from Flynn Vayner. Shout out you. He said. For a little bit of context, I've come from France and I've been studying in Canada for five years. I've started to DJ on the side and I now get regular gigs around the city, which is arguably the best student job in the world. That's great to be DJing on the side when you're a student as well. Yeah, Yeah. a lot of fun. Um, That is, however, not the case in my hometown. I only come back at Christmas times and other breaks during the summer. So I never really have the time to promote myself and look for gigs when I'm home until this year. I managed to get booked with a friend of mine in the favorite venue in our town. I was going to do the opening and then he would go on for a bit and we finished the night back to back. I was so happy because it's my first time playing in front of my family and my friends uh, and they would all see me DJ for the first time. The night starts, everything is amazing, the vibe is immaculate, there's a great turnout, you guys know the feeling. Flynn, yes we do. We, yeah, yeah, you know it's, everything's just bang on. It's just yeah. working out. Yeah. He says towards the end of the night... <laughs> So, sorry, towards the end of my friend's set, I go backstage with him and we're just vibing there before we start the back-to-back. Then suddenly, the music stops. Total silence during the peak of the night. Turns out my dad was so drunk, he followed me on stage, tripped over the cables, <laughs> spilt a couple of drinks, and the club amps went. Dad it could have been anyone, but it had to be my dad. <laughs> Luckily, we were able to start after 10 or 15 minutes later. Nothing. 10, imp- 10 to 15 minutes yeah, is a long a, time yeah, in a club. Dad must have gone flying. Wow. So he said, uh, nothing too important got broken, but needless to say, everybody in the town now knows me and my dad. Well, yeah. that's one way to, to kickstart your career. Yeah, shout out dad. Yeah. That is a proper dad move, isn't yeah, it's that? awkward. I though, bet he had it? one too many drinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, <laughs> he's too many. Son. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then ruined his set. Nice. Oh. Good going. Right, Jacob on Instagram. This is quite a good one. Um, smoke machine set alight during my gig. I advised the management there was wrong smoke coming out of it. And they said, it always happens. I then noticed a flame. The smoke machine was absolutely red hot. Tried to unplug it, but couldn't due to the temperature of it. Not to mention doing all of this whilst trying to please a crowd and DJ. So the manager ran over with a jacket, unplugged it. The smoke machine gave out a massive flame, loads of dirty smelling smoke coming out of it. The fire then kept going. All of the electric, again, in the club, cut off. Tripped the lights and the sound system, decks, etc. So all the music cut off, lights went off, went off for five seconds, and there was a fire. The manager took the smoke machine out of the club. However, all the other electrics had to be reset. People started leaving the club. However, one of my mates who was present at the club decided to start singing. (laughs) Loads of people joined in for a good two minutes and a lot of people left. Got it all back on though, eventually. The people started coming back in and the club filled up again pretty quick, but it was all just an absolute ball ache. The place was absolute shambles and has been closed since Christmas and never reopened. Oh dear. (laughs) This This is familiar. Yes. You and me experienced something like this. Before we get into that, though, how amazing. This is a great tactic, okay? Yeah. If, if everything else fails, if you can get that club singing, yeah. chanting, whatever you, you're just trying to get everyone chanting something. Yeah. Like there might be a local chant, depending on like where you are in the world that like, everyone knows. Yeah. In Scotland, they have like their own um, chant versus in <laughs> England where you could get them riled up in a different way. So yeah. try and lean into that. It is. It can be such a saving grace. Yeah. If a deck cuts out, get on the microphone, start chanting. Let the crowd take over while you figure out what the hell's going on. Yeah. If everything cuts out, like this guy, his mate stepped up there. Yeah. Absolutely stepped up and stepped in and did a great job of getting everyone singing. Yeah. Unfortunately, not long enough because no. you can't expect people to sing for fifteen minutes or something. Yeah. <laughs> Seven Nation <laughs> Army for fifteen minutes. I'm so let's segue into our story then. Yeah. Uh, this was the smoke machine one. Yeah. Uh, no, the the speaker. The speaker. Do you remember? Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. That's what made me think about it, the Go flames on. and the speaker. So me and Jamie were DJing uh, at this. It was like a converted church, wasn't it, almost? Yeah. yeah. It was uh, a nightclub anyway. And we were DJing in like this sort of like alcove underneath these stairs. And we were going back to back. And then there wasn't a smoke machine in this venue, but I just, I just remember seeing smoke behind us. I'm like, oh, they must have just turned on a smoke machine somewhere. But then I kept looking back and this smoke just got heavier and heavier and heavier. I'm like, something's wrong here. And then I walk around to the other side of the stairs and I just see this subwoofer just firing out flames with every kick. So it's just like boom, boom, like one after another. And then I run back around like, Jamie, the club's on fire. <laughs> like just freaking out. It was a, uh, it was definitely a panic moment, but yeah. I can't even remember what happened or how it like I, they got They had to get fire extinguisher and yeah. they just put it out and then we just kind of carried on. Yeah. I think they just like, right, that's done with, let's carry on. I don't think the fire brigade came, did they? No, I don't think no, so. I don't but think so. It was, but uh, it's one of those weird moments as a DJ, like, what do I do? I've got to like keep doing what I'm doing, but there's pleasing a the crowd, <laughs> but like, I need to get the right people's attention. Yeah. And you, you end up becoming like a bit of a manager at that point of like, right, I need this person. I need the crowd to yeah. not suddenly go crazy. I need the bouncer to come over. I need the management. Like, yeah. And you have to sort of deal with it all. Yeah. Um, it's a bit like when a fight happens. You, yeah. A lot of people look to you like, are you going to, you know, do you keep playing the music? Do you stop the music? If you yeah. stop the music, it draws more attention to it. If you yeah. keep playing the music, is it then harder for the bouncers and things to get to the, the fight? It's always a bit of a arms in the air moment. It is. That's one of the things that can go wrong mm. as a DJ is you get the, we spoke about this maybe last week or a few weeks ago, get the crowd too hyped and then not be able to control them and then all hell breaks loose. It does. So I think knowing that as a DJ is like, where's that tipping point? Are you just getting the crowd hyped or are you sending them into a bit of a frenzy where you're not bringing them down and something is going to cause conflict yeah. between people? Mm. <laughs> so that's another issue. Let's have, um, this one's quite a long one, but I felt like I, I want to play it because it's a great story and it's something that, again, as DJs, we have to deal with a lot of people and a lot of people in states that aren't just normal, like, working environments. So this one's quite a good one. Like I say, it's quite long, but we need support on this podcast. There's only two of us, you know? Yeah. So let's get stuck in. All right, lads, wake up with me after a DJ gig while I tell you about something insane that happened last night when I was working. So if you don't know me, my name is Jessica Maciel. I am a DJ from Ireland. And last night I was out playing a gig. And you know the way there's that one friend in every single group who gets an idea of a song that they want to hear and they will literally go hell for leather at the DJ until they play that song. If anything else, I just want to make it very clear that I have no problem with this person. And generally when I'm on a night out, I can be this person. So I encountered this member of the friend group last night when I was working and she came up and she was like, can you play this song? I have absolutely no problem taking song requests. Like sometimes people request absolute bangers and I'm like, I can't believe that I didn't think about this. And this was the case. The song that she requested was a banger, but I didn't have it, okay? So if you're a USB DJ, sometimes people request songs, you don't have it with you. It's not on your USB. So I very calmly and politely explained this to her and said, listen, absolute banger, but I don't have it. I'm really sorry. Oh, she came back. She came back again after I told her I didn't have it and she was like, can you please play it? And I was like, I don't, I don't have it. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't have the song. So after like her seventh time coming to the DJ booth asking me to play it, I eventually just said, you know what? Leave it with me. That's fine. Just leave it with me. Me obviously hoping that she was eventually going to forget about it and then I wouldn't have to hear any more about it. Nope. <laughs> This was not the case. <laughs> Just as my set was about to finish, this girl comes up to the DJ booth. She absolutely tears me a new one. <laughs> I mean, she is not happy. She, girl, my girl is not, she is not happy. You didn't play my effing, effing, F you, you, <laughs> B, you. It's like screaming. I think we can all assume what happened next is that security were like, time to go. So I'm like, oh, thank God, right, she's gone. I can leave, I can go home, everything's cool. No, oh, this man. girl was still outside the club, <gasps> continued to shout at me, yell at me, go crazy at me in the middle of the street outside the club, all over one song. One song that I did not play in the nightclub. I'd like to know what song it was. 
yeah that's a good point maybe yeah. I'll, I'll drop a comment um yeah. let's let me have a look in the comments right now uh but I, yeah i have a hundred percent dealt with this sort of person before who'd like you you hope when they come up to you and say can i have this song you've told them two or three times you hope that they're just going to forget about it but for some reason they never do like they never forget and it doesn't yeah. matter how drunk they are they always remember that they've requested this song and Loads then, of people have asked, what's the song? There's yeah. been no reply. Someone said, was it Mr. Brightside? Oh, <laughs> yeah, if it was the UK, probably. So shout out to Jess underscore M underscore Maciel, which is M-A-C-I-E-L on TikTok. Great storyteller there. Great. Um, yeah. And, yeah. Everything sounds great in an Irish accent. Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> it is such a common thing. Yeah. It's so hard because you can't go anywhere. No. It's not like you're like, right, I'll just avoid that person. I'm yeah. going to go mingle over there and not deal with them anymore. Or I'll go yeah. work in this different room for a bit yeah. and get a break. It's like, you're just there and they're just staring at you. But, and yeah. You're like, Please leave me alone. And what makes it worse <laughs> is like you'll see them somewhere on the oh. dance floor and you try not to make eye contact because they know it's going to remind them to come yeah. and ask you again. Yeah, it's an awful situation. Have you ever had it where you're trying to please someone? So it's a song you know isn't going to work, but they've asked so many times, you're like, I'm just sick of this. Yeah. So you play like literally the chorus for 16 bars. Yeah. You just like drop it in, let them have the cut out, and then they get, it makes it worse. Yeah, because you didn't play the whole thing. <laughs> you, Why have you turned it off? You yeah. didn't, and you're like, oh no, I've yeah. made this worse. And like adds fuel to fire. So that's another tip. Like, be careful. You could make matters worse by actually playing the song. Yeah. <laughs> you can't win sometimes. Sometimes you can't win. And I get this. This is there was some there was another story which I haven't saved, but again on a, along a similar lines where someone was like, have I, have I been a bad person by saying no and not playing a song? I was playing a hip hop R and B night. It was billed like that, that you know, the promoter had promoted it as a hip hop and R and B night, and I'm playing as a hip hop and R and B DJ. And then someone's coming over and asking constantly, like, Can you play like Taylor Swift or something? Can you play yeah. this? Can you play this? Can you play this? And the, they've said, Look, I can't because this is not the type of night that it is. And they're just like not hearing it. Yeah. Just, no, you need to play it, blah, 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 blah. And it's Everyone like, will love it. Yeah, <laughs> That's what they yeah, always yeah. say. But I mean, in that moment, is there a way you could do something to play it? Or you've got to know your crowd, haven't you? Absolutely. You've yeah. got to know how deep the crowd is within the theme or genre of the night. If it's quite loose, you go, okay, let me do something creative here and try yeah. and put like, you know, this pop song over maybe a hip hop instrumental or something. Try and cool it up a little bit yeah <laughs> or maybe is that going to make matters worse for the rest of the club and you've got to make that decision sometimes yeah but you've got it is hard you don't realize that as a dj you think yeah i'm just gonna go and play my play music that i love and in matter of fact you end up fending off lots of drunk <laughs> people yeah. and trying to calm people down and yeah it's a tricky one isn't it yes yeah, right. so I've, I've saved the best until last because it actually involves my friend danny who is sat right next to us here it does this this story now is probably the most legendary story in that i know yeah. within the industry and it all happened like off the back of your first residency wasn't it it did yeah it's like one of my first ever ones and do, do you know what this happened without my knowing which yeah. is what makes it even more <laughs> weird i just so to give a bit of a backstory i i got offered a opportunity to play a warm-up set at a gig um and i was happy to do it it was like a new events company and that was it. That's the last I heard of it. I went and did the warm up set. Great. And then fast forward to like a week later, I'm get like my Facebook is blowing up. Like this is like the height of Facebook. This is like 2016. Like I, my Insta, my, sorry, my Facebook like notifications were just going crazy. It was one after another, <laughs> after another, after another. And in the UK, there's this thing called Lad Bible. Now, if things were in Lad Bible back then, it was considered like viral. Oh it, yeah, it, it was, was the, everywhere. Uh, like. UK viral news yeah. and media outlet that just yeah it's just like it just was popular it was content, everywhere yeah. yeah and then the next minute like the same day they had millions of followers yeah like millions so my notifications have gone crazy and I was like what has happened here and the next minute I'm looking through this chat and I can't work out what's going on and then the next minute I'm getting a call from like the metro which is like a newspaper being like <laughs> can we talk to you about this I'm like I've just woken up I don't know what's going on <laughs> <laughs> so I go through this chat I have a look at it it turns out that I'd been offered a residency as like the main <laughs> DJ for this night that I'd done a warm up at. And then basically they'd messaged the wrong Danny James and this guy just played along with it. And he played along with it for a it's good so few well. days. Yeah. For days. For days. Now we have the conversation here. We've got it. And we are going to role play it for you, yeah. right? This is a text message conversation, a back and forth between the promoter, who is going to be me. Yeah. And 
the fake Danny James, which is going to be Danny. Yeah. He didn't know any of this was going on, but this is, someone was playing his role. So I'm going to be the promoter. Right. Are we ready to get started? It's quite long. It's quite long. It's worth it. Buckle it's up. worth it. Okay. Text. All right, mate. Decisions have been made and we are giving you the main slot at, where was it? Because they've crossed it out here. It at, was a club called the Faversham in Leeds. At the Faversham every Thursday. We thought you smashed it the last few weeks of term and you deserve it. We had returning customers for the first time in the year, second and third years, crucially. So like all of the university students wanted to come back to the night. The other promoter has said we need to cut out this Bieber shit though. And I was to tell you this. Yeah, cool, mate. So you dug my vibe, huh? Totally agree. <laughs> Fuck Bieber and his believers. I think I'm going to be laying down some old school classics, but then lay some drum and bass shit down and s- over the top. What do you think? Yeah, man, I did. Yeah, a bit of everything. It's a mashup night, so to an extent, every genre. And when going in drum and bass and how stay more commercial than niche and edgy. So what you're saying is keep it fresh, but keep it real for the average Joe, yeah? <laughs> yeah, in your words. Ha <laughs> ha. Cool beans. <laughs> So what time do you want me there tonight, mate? It doesn't start until next week, mate. Ha ha. That would have been jokes. Ha. Phew. That would have been embarrassing. So next <laughs> Thursday, what time do you want me there? And what's the buns? <laughs> you will start at 12, 150 pounds. So I'm like headlining you. Can I can put this on posters. Yeah. What posters? Just something, you know, like just to get my name out there. Yeah, of course. By all means, do a 10 min mix and we will share our fan page, etc. and boost. Yeah, I'll sort it out for you tomorrow, lad. <laughs> Thanks. Just a quick one, Giza. What's the policy on Wait, smoke machines? Hold on. So this was oh. on Friday. So we moved up. So that, this was like a few days later, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You suddenly was... like pick, thought, right, I'm going to pick this yeah. conversation back up again. Picked it back up. So it was like, just a quick one, Giza. What's the policy on smoke machines and lasers? Because I'm sorting out a set as we speak and I need some pyrotechnics. What do you mean? Explain. I need smoke machines, lasers, strobes, flashbangs, <laughs> glow sticks, rave paint, foam cannons. Also, do they allow animals in the venue? <laughs> when for? What for? Well, there's a Wiley track that I want to drop, and I just wondered if we could have foxes on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hold on. Composure. No, crying emoji. You 100% sure? No. Yeah, crying emoji. Are you pissed? Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry, mate. I've had a tab of acid. <laughs> crying emoji. But I'm thinking about big scale. Do you have access to jacuzzis? Have you seen that 50 cent video from back in the day? <laughs> <laughs> this is the next day on. I've got a five hour set planned oh, at the moment. God. How long shall I whittle it down to? And then loads lo- of music emojis. <laughs> Mate, this stuff is so good. I am fucking flying. <laughs> Are you down with the trumpets? Loads of trumpets emojis. <laughs> then this was later on that same day. Apolo- oh no, yeah, this was the day after. Apologies about last night. You know how it gets. So what time should I get there on Thursday? Crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji. You start at 12, mate. Then it went silent for a bit. Hey, dude. Hey, mate. <laughs> In light of today's event, I think I'm going to do a Bowie medley. On Thursday, if that's okay. By medley? What do you mean? (laughs) Just about five or six songs from the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. Then a few of the man who stole the world. Two from Buddha of Suburbia. And then finish with Let's Dance and Heroes. Just the classics, really. Mixed in? Maybe not that many, by all means. Maybe two or three. Yeah, Yeah, no bother, matey. Right, so here's the playlist. Sweet. Then this guy went on to send a playlist <laughs> that was so long. I'll just read out the actual categories because he's actually supplied the track list. Like, like hundreds of songs. Hundreds. This is effort. So this killed at my auntie's wedding, dot, dot, dot. Intro music, begin my walk on. <laughs> <laughs> songs include things like Here Comes the Hot Stepper, Jamie Foxx's Gold Digger intro. <laughs> but he's put 12 to 1. Start lasers just after the Jamie Foxx intro on Gold Digger. Smoke machines kick in when white noise by disclosure drops. <laughs> Then some modern classics, Jack U, Basement Jacks, Artful Dodger, etc. 1 till 1.30, I'm thinking Electro, Funk and House. 1.30 till 2, Indie Anthems, Kings of Leon, Sex on Fire, Mr. Brightside. 2 till 3, Party Anthems, Love Machine by Girls Aloud, Come On Eileen, Midnight, uh, Dexy's Midnight Runners, uh, Chain Reaction by Diana Ross. Continue with the lasers from here. <laughs> then going into Reach by S Club 7. And then he's just listed so many cheesy songs. This goes on for pages. And then 3 till 3.30, play requested shout-outs. 3.30 till 4, 
everybody gets in lines. We <laughs> cha cha slide, agadoo, oops upside your head, crank that by Soldier Boy. Later on, everybody gets in a circle. <laughs> New York, New York by Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Lights come on, play the national anthem as people start to filter out. <laughs> this is so good. Oh, that, right. Composure. I can't do this. I can't. <laughs> oh, man. Do you know what? We need, this needs to be reenacted in, in real life. It actually this does. This actual it does. set. I mean, he's put so much effort into it. Right, so, promoter's back. Don't think I can digest that now. You want acid again? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> totally realise you're the wrong guy, crying emoji. Never mind all that. <laughs> and then just continuous laughter. And, and then, then at the end, yeah. what does he put at the end? Uh, it was a link to a YouTube video, then it says funny though. Yeah, the YouTube video he sent was take that, never forget. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Right. I just need to have a moment. So yeah, because... off, off the back of oh, that, God. so this happened. I'd basically found out that I'd got this residency, some guy pretending to be me. Um, and that's how I found out that I got the residency. From loads of text messages all over social media. What way to have your career just start? Yeah. Like, do you know what I, I? I so this 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 was all over Facebook, and I did I did something that I still think is really clever to this day. I replied to everything as my Facebook page, so my Facebook page popped off because everyone was liking it, right. and they were just like, so you, were like the re- "You should have t- turned your name into the real Danny James." <laughs> yeah, something like that. That yeah. would have been like. But I, I remember I replied to the the guy who pretended to be me, saying, "We need to make this happen," and then. Yeah, I got loads of people messaging me like, is this going to happen? Bah, 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 bah. You know it what? Danny James funny. Elliott, whoever you are, yeah. we need to find you again. We need to like have you on the podcast and yeah. find out like what was going on throughout this week. Yeah. Like, were you just like having the time of your life with your <laughs> mates? Like, look, he's still playing along. He still thinks I'm this DJ. So good. Oh my God. Right. That that really tickled me, but I think it's time to switch things up. Yeah. Shall we get on to add to playlist game? Let's go for it. Okay. So, I'll Danny. Jump on. He's got to go round to the DJ club booth within the Crossfader studio. And while he does that, I am going to just remind you that it's 35% off all of our DJ courses. So if you're thinking about learning some new skills, taking your skills further, or if you're just a total beginner and you've just got your hands on a new DJ controller, then go and check out the courses over at wearecrossfader.co.uk. And the Easter sale is running for, for about another 10 days from now when this is uh, goes live. It's 35% off all courses. Go check it out. Danny, how are you doing? No, you can't. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, this one. one. Can we hear me now? Yes, we can. We can hear me. Right. So I have got so I've got how many tunes I've got? I've got five tracks this week. Whoop, uh, whoop. Again, these will be straight in our Discord, straight after this. I'll put the track list in there. So make sure you join that and they will be there. I've got a few different sort of vibes. I've got some chilled stuff and I've got some pretty heavy stuff. So let's go. See Come on. Think. Okay. Okay. See, I kind of hate this vocal now because it's been used so many times. Please. Okay, I'd say this is a warm up. Um, and I'd say this is like. You could kind of transfer people over to, to pick the energy up at this point, going from like a commercial set into a bit more of an underground set. Yeah, for sure. But you know what? I, I'm sick of the vocal. Yeah. Overplayed. Overplayed. Yeah. Vibe instrumental though. I quite like that. It is a vibe instrumental. I think it would have been better without that vocal. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I see, think, yeah. you know, just release it without the vocal. Not bad. And it's a vibey actually. tune. And then it allows the DJ to just play whatever vocal, like, mashup they want over the top of it because it's a good, solid instrumental. Yeah. It's not sure. going to make my playlist. No. No, okay. it's not going right. to make mine. Hold on, which is it? That's the one. Right. Next one. Instantly. You remember this one? Yeah. This is going to be a remix, though, right? It, it certainly is. Oh. So I found this yesterday. Bass cannon, right? Yep. Huge dubstep tune for anyone that doesn't know. Do you know what? They've done a great job of modernizing. Yeah. 
like a real wobbly dubstep track yeah and making it kind of current yeah like but still staying true to the original genre i'd say yeah is absolutely. it a bit slower though uh no it's 140 is it 140 yeah, yeah it's 140. oh that's a bit of me do you know what i, I love tra- so this would go in my folder of like wobbly bangers yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is literally how i'd structure my stuff so if i was going to put it in a playlist it going wobbly bangers yeah. it'd be a great song for anyone who's you know maybe like an older crowd that knows the previous like version of that who was around when dubstep and was raving when dubstep was yeah. big and you can kind of use it as a way to like hook those people in because it start it sounds really similar to start with so it people does, might yeah. not think any different catch you off guard 100%. catches you off guard yeah. festivals i bet that would go off yeah absolutely and i love the tracks that have like it's a it's a very unique drop is that it's not like oh it sounds like so and so yeah oh, it sounds like you know a yeah. style of music it's it's so unique it's it the is. way it drops so I that just forgot i haven't supplied the actual track names yet oh for either right. of the tunes last one track name the one before that was estelle american boy holly and Camofly remix okay and then this one is flux pavilion bass cannon i think it's father flip spelled p-h-r-v-a flip nice yeah. by the way all of the track lists go in our discord so you yep. can just search crossfader discord go join it and all of the track lists each week go into our crossfader discord so you can go and support those artists and download the the songs yourselves if, if they're free downloads um that is going in my playlist straight in the playlist straight right. in on to the next one let's go Another banger. If there was ever a UK sound, this is it. This is it. Yeah. Is that, that Fuji's in it? That sample. I think when it I might raise be, yeah, a trigger yeah. finger on your mug, is it yeah, the deck? It is. Yeah. Yeah. That is a nice sample that's been flipped, uh, yeah. squeezed into that. The track is called Trigger Finger by Notion. Who's yeah, a UK producer. Notion's He's big. Very good. Great Again, track. capturing that like old school UK sound and bringing it kind of up to date. Yeah. That'd go in bangers as well. If I was going to... Yeah. What what BPM are we at there? Uh, 135. 135. So yeah. you're kind of in between. You, if you were going to take the energy up yeah. from a house set, it's like that is a perfect opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it just sure. injects that, I don't know, drive into the just set. So, straight in yeah. there, innit? What, what have you got these labeled as in yours? Like what playlist would you put uh, these in? So this one, I just put in like my bass folder, like my bass slash heavy garage sort of stuff yeah that sort of vibe i feel like it's more of like a, a scene sound if that makes sense like it's not garage you've music. got to choose uh, yeah. pick and choose where you're gonna play that maybe. yeah for sure yeah. yeah but it's definitely going in my heavier sort of bassy folders for sure right that yeah. is definitely going in the playlist trigger finger notion yeah get on that one that is also a free download as well all these tunes are free downloads actually amazing just say that uh this next one jamie right <laughs> caught me off guard and <sighs> i so i'm excited you, this whole like new sound of like house like black coffee sort of like it's chill house but it's like it'll still go off in a club and yeah yeah okay. so listen to this one this this got me good all right uh-huh. very different to the others yeah. are you ready i don't know Shakira. Oh, baby, when you talk like that, you don't make a woman go mad. So be wise, be wise, reading the signs of your body. I'm on tonight, you know my hips don't lie, and I'm starting to feel you, boy. Come on, let's go. Real slow. I think this is a banger. I, I think so, too. And I'm a piano version of uh, Shakira. Who'd have thought? Don't you see, baby, this is perfection. Oh, boy, I can see your body. It's just a vibe. I, I actually feel like it makes the song, it's, it's a way better song. Yeah, yeah. Like... I have a bad mind, I'm so frustrated. I've come to feel my feelings. See, I'm going to come down, so you know that I'm talking to her to explain. Oh, okay. Like, right, who made this? Uh, who d- that, the remix is by a guy called Mateen. Mateen. Yeah. Bravo, Mateen, right? Yeah, smashed it. Very well done there. Like, I feel like to be able to infuse those two styles of music yeah. and do it in that way that it's kind of made it credible. Like, yeah. you think, is it cheesy? But actually, I feel like it's got a bit of credibility to it. Absolutely. And I bet if, I bet if um, 
you didn't if Shakira had never released this track and this yeah. was the first version of this song ever released yeah. the people would be like whoa this is amazing yeah. I just don't know if people will frown upon it because they'll be like oh why are you playing Shakira yeah uh, I think do you know what I hope it's one of those remixes that like does so well that it becomes an official release yeah, remix yeah 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 it's oh it's those. great when that happens to I producers it, yeah. yeah but yeah this is this is just dumb bits for me I absolutely love it if I heard this at like a sunrise set like you know just like a beat or something like you just be great vibe Whoa. so well this is getting this is this is yeah i didn't think i'd like it but like you say it just hooks you yeah so add into playlist definitely add into playlist yeah and i think that would where's that gonna go that's that's again it's a warm-up song yeah it's you could play it a commercial night mm-hmm. you could play it a more music orientated night like if, you, if you're playing a lot of i'm a piano and that's yeah. of music naturally that's gonna fit in you could even play a hip-hop night like yeah. and, you know play alongside some drake tunes and stuff potentially yeah. Th- there's a it's a very flexible track it it, it'd go it'd go in a lot of playlists for me yeah. in my library yeah um and that's a beauty you can just drag and drop they don't have to just live in one playlist yeah so that was, again, Mateen, remix of Hips Don't Lie, Shakira. Mateen, bravo. Yeah. Well done. Smashed it. Right, last one. That's one. This is a bit of a heavy one, I think, but let's go. What genre are we calling this? See, this is where I start to... People overthink genres too much, right? If I was going to make a playlist and put this in it, it'd be like chunky, wobbly house. I'd like try and describe it as yeah. best as I can. It doesn't need to be a genre that anyone else knows, but in my playlist, I'd be like, okay, I know what kind of vibe this is going to put across. Yeah. Switch. It's like the bell organy sound. I don't know. Yeah, it, I again, don't. it's quite UK sounding Very, in my yeah. mind. I, for me, this is. I like, like it. Yeah, it's that. It's that. It's still peak time, but it's. I'd be very quick to change it after the song. I'd throw a vocal in after this. One. Yeah. That is Champion Sound by WZA. I feel like that's one of those songs that it creates a bit of a vibe. But like you say, if you play it for too long, it actually it starts to be a bit of a detriment to the vibe, I think, yeah, because yeah. it doesn't go anywhere enough. Mm-hmm. So you get what you need out of it, maybe out of a minute and a half to two minutes, and yeah. then you're kind of moving on. Yeah. And you'll find that with some tracks that the, the, the whole track doesn't really provide what you need on at that moment in the dance floor, yeah. but it gives it a little injection each time you drop like the what, minute and a half of these tracks. Yeah. So it's one of those to be aware of. Is it going to go in the playlist? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's put it in the playlist. Let's do it. That has been this week's Add to Playlist. Nice. Thank you so much, Danny. Um, and like we said, all of the track list goes into our Crossfader Discord. Danny will share them straight after the show and paste them in there. He said this week, they were all free downloads. Um, so even a bonus. Go check them out and support those artists. I think my favorite might have to be the bass cannon one because I started DJing regularly in clubs when dubstep was huge and I got to play all that wobbly stuff yeah. and it was a great vibe. So it takes me back to that. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite? Definitely the Shakira one. Shakira one. Yeah, is, it's just yeah, a vibe. I just I'm vibe. loving stuff like that at the minute, to be honest. Like that sort of armor piano. I don't is it like is it armor piano? Is it like the deeper house? Like mm. the sound to me just sounds like black coffee. It, it's armor piano, and I me, think, because sort of. yeah, it's it's the way that like the um the drums are structured and then it's got that mm, ba, ba, Yeah, yeah. Ba, mm, yeah. Ba, that kind of structure to it anyway. I'll I stop, like it. I'll a stop lot. singing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, that rounds up. This week's episode of Off the Record Podcast. I've had a lot of fun. This has been it's fun. Been yeah. Great. Good laugh. Lawrence likes to say, you know, how how did we feel the show was going to go at the start? I forgot to do that, but yeah. I'm going to say at the end. I feel like it's been a good show. Yeah, it's been great. Just I've to enjoyed say it. The two of us. Yeah. Thank you to all of those who shared their stories on Instagram and Reddit and everywhere else. Um, and shout out to those that I played live from Instagram and TikTok. There's some great stories. I hope you resonated from it. I hope you picked up some little, you know, nuggets of wisdom to how you could maybe avoid some of these things. But in all honesty, a lot of these issues are unavoidable. It's just how you deal with them at the time. It's going to happen. Just roll with it. Move on and just have some fun. Put a smile on your face. And at the end of the day, we're here to just play music yep. for people to That's enjoy. It. 
And on that note, see you later. Bye.